Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shasa and today I'm coming at you with another fragrance review. And today's review will look at Tuberose Criminal by Serge Luton's. Tuberose Criminal comes from either the Graziel collection or the Bell Bottle collection. And I will say that this is one of my all time favorite Serge Luton fragrances. Although I own many of his creations, if I had to pick a fragrance that has kind of become my signature as of late, it is definitely Tuberose Criminal. So before we jump into the notes, let's get into a little bit about the story behind Tuberose Criminal. Tuberose Criminal was inspired by Baudelaire's poem called Flowers de Mai. Baudelaire was a famous French poet and Flowers de Mai was probably one of his most celebrated works. In Flowers de Mai, he speaks about these flowers that take on human-like personification. In fact, in the storyline, these flowers are evil. And Baudelaire really kind of talks about them in this very almost cold, sinister way. In fact, Serge Luton kind of summarizes the entire poem by saying, Baudelaire was right. Let's give the flowers back to evil. And the whole idea was to take tuberose, a flower that is really considered to be the epitome of fragility and luxury, a very delicate flower, and give it this very sharp, almost sinister aura, a very hard, kind of icy personality, if you will. And what I love about this fragrance is that it is really not your typical tuberose scent. Unlike other perfumers, what Serge Luton was really trying to do is he played up this one particular accord in the tuberose flower called methyl salicate. And methyl salicate is an ingredient that actually is kind of a natural scent molecule present in tuberose. And this particular molecule has a very kind of balsamic, sharp, kind of cold smell to it, if you will. And it definitely kind of has this almost balmy, almost ointment-like smell if you get really close into the heart of the flower. And Serge Luton exaggerates this note in the opening of the scent to just, like I said, give it this very piercing, sharp, icy quality. If you could just imagine two bros, and instead of, you know, this actual flower having petals, instead of its petals being there, they were knives. That's really what tuberose criminal kind of feels like on the skin. So right from the beginning, you get this very sharp methyl salicate note that comes from the tuberose flower. And that floral note is joined by other florals of hyacinth. You also have jasmine and then orange blossom. After about 10 or 15 minutes, you're into the heart of the fragrance. And that's when notes of clove appear, which definitely adds a distinctive spiciness to the fragrance. And then you also have the addition of styrax. And Styrax is actually a note that almost gives this tuberose note that is so prevalent within the perfume a very leathery, rich undertone. So while the fragrance is cold, you definitely do have some really interesting warm depth behind this fragrance. Once we're finally in the base of the fragrance, you get this very soft touch of vanilla. And the vanilla definitely keeps the fragrance profile from going too sharp or too astringent. It gives it a slightly soft, kind of subtle warmth and definitely helps to make the fragrance composition a little bit more well-rounded. In addition to the lingering notes of vanilla, you also have a soft trail of musk and just a dash of incense, which layers in beautifully, adding kind of a smoky depth to the leather facets of the Styrix and then to the kind of sharp, icy smell of the methyl salicylate. So that is Serge Luton's Tuberose Criminal in a bottle. This fragrance is available in two different size formats. You have the 100 ml from the Graziel collection at $375. And then you also have the Bell Bottle. These are actually going to be Palace Royale exclusives, only available at the flagship boutique in Paris moving forward. And the retail on this one is $310. So yeah, that's Tuberose Criminal. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.